I recently watched an interview uh, with Steven Seagal and he was being asked about Aikido, his art and um, I was really impressed by the interview so much so that I recorded it as I do a lot of things of value to me anyway uh, I love Steven Seagal as a martial arts master and uh, regardless of what people say about him calling him a liar and saying that he's he's not genuine and things of this nature I see the good in people and because I have studied martial arts for more than half my life uh, I respect his philosophy as it relates to martial arts and I've heard people say in time past that he didn't know Bruce Lee uh, as he said and he spoke on some things when he met and or talked to Bruce Lee about martial arts that's neither here nor there with me. I, I could really care less about that. Uh, but in this particular interview, I don't know when it was conducted. It seems to me to be more recent. But uh, in this particular video, he was asked about uh, his art, Aikido, and even he demonstrated some things. And he talked about the philosophical aspect of martial arts and how he perceives it. And that's in line with what I believe. Uh, martial arts... Uh, is and can be very deadly and it's less physical than it is spiritual that's the way it's supposed to be anyway so you can take that with a grain of salt some of you but uh what interests me the most was uh his comments on bruce lee when asked about bruce lee and all of the uh, detractors as it were saying that bruce lee was uh overinflated as an as a martial arts image and so forth and he said well you know people always want a hero in this type of thing and Bruce Lee happened to be around that time you know that was the world's hero as far as martial arts is concerned but he gave Bruce Lee his due his credit as a martial arts master and he was talking about Bruce Lee being very good at what he did he was great and he talked about uh, Dan Anasano being one of Bruce Lee's best students and he said uh exemplary in martial arts and he credited Inosanto as well and the thing he said about Bruce Lee also that struck me was that uh, there had been uh, some rumors on the internet over the past several years that Gene LaBelle had trained with Bruce Lee and that uh, even one rumor that says that he put Bruce Lee in a hole or a choke this type of thing uh, and that he was teaching Bruce Lee and Steven Seagal said in his honest opinion Gene LaBelle lied he said that could have never happened in any instance could that ever happen to Bruce Lee so you've got to watch the video yourself and I put a link uh, in the description and or comment section below um, so you can comment on on that part as well as as well as the whole body of his uh, discussion with this interviewer but uh i'm really happy that he gave bruce lee his just due because there was a time uh when i put out a video and he said bruce lee was not even close to one of the greatest during his time so it seems as though he's contradicting himself but i honestly honestly do believe that he does re respect Bruce Lee's legacy and who Bruce Lee was and what Bruce Lee's accomplishments in the martial arts uh, were and are. So it could have just been the way some people looked at it during the time that he said it, the, the other interview that is. Even I have said before, uh, Bruce Lee is the, mo the most celebrated, he is, martial arts master of our time, the 20th and the 21st century, the most. Uh, the most Googled, the most popular uh, martial arts master in pop culture, even. And uh, his name is synonymous with many movies, commercials, uh, videos, magazines, and so forth. He's been mentioned way more than anyone. I mean, he just uh, is out there. So uh, it is uh, an injustice not to give that man his credibility. And I'm so happy again that Stephen Skull did just that. So to conclude, uh, Master Stephen Seagal, Aikido Master, spoke very, very nobly and highly, if you will, 
of the late great Bruce Lee in his interview and I'm so proud of him for doing that I have nothing against him I don't have anything against anyone for that matter of fact um, Bruce Lee was and still is uh, relevant in today's martial arts as he was during the time that he was living as well so I just wanted to say that to you um, my hat goes off to Steven Seagal and I wish him many many more years on this earth and uh, uh, great health especially great health since he's um, accumulated some excess uh, weight that I feel that might be an issue with him health wise down the road but above and beyond everything that he was talking about the philosophical aspect I'm going to reiterate is the most important aspect of our lives as human beings and especially in the, in the martial arts when it comes down to martial arts. Take care. See you next time.